keep trying to curl my hair and I look like a golden retriever. Anyway. Okay, well, also, what the f with this lighting? I'm honestly trying so hard and I don't know why. I just need a bag of flaming hot Cheetos popcorn and. But my fingers, permanently orange. I'm willing to pay the price for delicious snacks. Okay, anyway, this is why we're here today. My favorite pastry in the world is Queen Amman. It took me a very long time to learn how to say that. Cougine Amman, Kuingi Amman, Kogongola. It's a French pastry, it's delicious. Basically, a Queen Amman is if you take a croissant and you layer it with sugar instead of just butter and then smoosh it together in either a pastry ring or a muffin tin. So I've tried to make Queen Amman from scratch multiple times. Each time, it has been a nightmare. You've just got the folding, the folding, the folding, and then the butter, and then the butter seeps out, and then it's like, mm. Also, it takes hours, hours, and hours. I love baking, but like, I don't like waiting. I woke up and I was like, I really want Queen Amon, but I do not have the time or patience to make it from scratch. But I did some Googling. Insert puff pastry sheet. From the grocery store aisle, somebody already did all the folding. It was a robot, it was a machine that did the folding. It's not gonna be exactly like a Queen Amon. It's not gonna be fluffy, you're not leaving it time to rise, but it's flaky and caramelly. I'm very excited to eat this by myself. I'm gonna share it with my boyfriend. <sighs> Let's get started. Parchment paper. Cover a large area of surface with the parchment paper. A rolling pin, butter, sugar, and a muffin tin. Take some butter and then just rub it generously on the inside. That's fine. I mean, that's sloppy, but that's fine. It's not cute, but it's generously buttered. Okay, put the muffin tin aside. I don't know if I told you, but I don't have a recipe for this. I'm just making it up, so we'll see what happens. This is not a mirror, it's a camera. The funny part is I literally can't even see myself. Okay. Now you have your puff pastry. This is how it comes when you take it out of the package. You can just use one or you can use two. I think I'm gonna do both because I'm a hungry bitch. I let this thaw out in the fridge. It does have to stay chilled enough that the sugar doesn't melt into it in a weird way, but it kind of will anyway. I told you, I've never made this the right way. We're gonna start by putting sugar all over the bottom. Is that too much? Maybe. It doesn't matter. Unfold your puff pastry. Gorge. I'm gonna start rolling it. I wanna press it into the sugar. I also am gonna sprinkle this with sugar. It's really just like endless sugar. Keep putting sugar on it. Is this Cheeto dust? Sugar. Sprinkle some more sugar on it. I'm gonna fold it like this. This. Roll it out this way too, maybe? Sugar. This feels pretty easy. I wonder how this is gonna actually turn out. Cute. This will be the last turn. Okay, so this is what we have. I say we give it a try. They generally want to be squares, so we could do like little, little guys. Down the middle, kind of even cuts. So that got us like eight. These look like little tortillas. We've got our little pieces. Pull this out. Technically, this should be a square. Anyway, stick it in. We're supposed to fold the corners in. It looks like that, which is like pretty fucking small. These might be too small. These are like mini Queen of Men. Okay, I mean, that's kind of it. I kind of want to know what it's like if we double this up. So I'm just going to double and see what happens. See, that looks more like it. I mean, who's eating these? Me. Sprinkle with more sugar. These are all sugared and salted and ready to go in the oven. Boop, 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 boop. They're going to go at 400 degrees in the middle rack. Let's turn it down to 350 so that, I don't know. I'm going to give it like 35-ish minutes, but I'm going to check on it to make sure it doesn't burn. I've burned them before. We'll just see what happens. I'm gonna take them out of the oven. Ooh, it smells like burning. What do they look like? I mean, I feel like it's definitely burnt in some places. I left it in for a long time. So let's get them out. I think it's like raw inside. Oof, that is burnt. Ooh, burnt. Well, that's a little bit of a hot mess. So we have four good ones and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight bad ones. We can still peel off the bottom layer. Okay, 
So here are the things I did right. It's caramelized on the outside. Some of them are very burnt. I don't know if you know this, but burning things is the next step to caramelization. You can just peel off that part. It doesn't taste that bad. Don't eat it. <sighs> very bitter. Look, I burnt them before and I'll do it again. Here was the issue. <laughs> so hot inside. I checked on it when it was at like 35, 40 minutes, which is what it's supposed to bake for. It wasn't brown like this on top. I knew I might burn them, but I wanted it to be fucking brown on top. That's how they're supposed to be. I think that I probably could have left them in there for less time and then I would not have burnt more than half of them. Let's see how they came out on the inside. You can see the anatomy of this one. Burnt. Look at that layer. Sticky. And the salt comes through. Mm, mm. How badly burnt is this one? Well, this is pretty terrible. Oh my god, I put too much salt on it. These are some little things that can be adjusted, but I would say this still counts as a pretty fucking good hat. It's caramelly. It's Ow, it's so hot. Mm. Fun fact, I first had Queen Amon at Supermoon Bakehouse in New York, where they also have the most incredible croissants and pastries that I've ever had in my life. Maybe I just need to get out more, or maybe they rule. What's our conclusion? Don't overbake them like I did, and you'll be fine. No matter what, these don't taste bad. I'm almost like a pretzel, that's not right. Okay, whatever. This is perfectly imperfect, and I'm actually very much okay with that. You can thank me very much by following me, subscribing, commenting, sharing, do whatever it is you do. I'm gonna go back to the dentist. It's like cracking fawn.